Right then, I want to have a quick look at the King. This was, he is in Australia and he has been heckled by Lydia Thorpe, who's an Aboriginal Australian Senator in the Australian Parliament. This is what happened. Well, unsurprisingly, there's been fury as that radical Indigenous Senator, Lydia Thorpe. Um, she has uh, not only shouted those deeply offensive things, well, look, if he's not, not her king, she's not her king, but she's, well, she's entitled to her opinion. Is she entitled to uh, disrupt those that ceremony? Is she entitled to what she said? I personally don't think so. She's also accused him of genocide. Uh, I don't think he has been involved in genocide at all. Uh, she also um, posts a beheaded King Charles cartoon hours after hijacking and embarrassing uh, the king clearly there. Let's talk to Alexandra Marshall. She's the online editor of Spectator Australia. She's also a young ambassador with the Australians for Constitutional Monarchy. Alexandra, this is just so embarrassing for so many wonderful, lovely Australians, including many Aboriginal people, who welcomed the King and said thanks very much for coming, Head of the Commonwealth, Head, uh, you know, head of State as well. Um, it, what, what's been, what is your reaction to this? Well, I'm sure her behaviour seems shocking, but Senator Lydia Thorpe has formed for this and Australians are well used to her antics and we ignore her because she does this kind of performance activism. She's basically a parody of activism. I'm surprised she's not a creation of the Babylon Bee uh, as far as her antics are concerned. But effectively, what she's basically too extreme for the Greens because she was a Green senator and now she's independent. But she's not representative of Australia as a whole, as we know, Australia just said no to the voice department. We said no to Indigenous activism. We also said no to a Republican. Quite frankly, right now, Republican sentiment is at its lowest point it has been. So the reception for the King has been warm. I was in a cafe here in North Sydney this morning when the King's motorcade went past and everyone ran out of the cafes to watch it go by. Uh, it's been basically a warm welcome for the King. He, it's almost like he's here on holiday and everyone, all the Australians have come out and they love it. So please ignore Senator Thorpe. She does this all the time. Another Indigenous Senator, our shadow Indigenous Affairs Minister, Jacinta Price, who's also Indigenous, basically condemned her when Senator Lydia Thorpe refused to take the oath and said she was there to infiltrate Parliament. So this is run of the mill for her. Will there be any repercussions for this? I mean, I know she was escorted from Parliament, but will there be any repercussions as a result of this? I mean, the King has been heckled on many, many occasions throughout his long uh, life and career as a royal certainly I'm sure he'll just sort of brush it off but um, it, it presumably is pretty embarrassing as you say to uh, member many Australians who welcome him well, the King has handled this with good grace, as we expect him to, because he's above politics and he's here for the Australian people. But Senator Thorpe's behaviour has been so bad for so long that Australians have given up on there being any kind of repercussions for her. I mean, last time I saw her, she was crawling around in the mud, dragging the, Australia, the Aboriginal flag through the, the wet grass in front of Parliament. So I'm not quite sure how much lower she can actually go. And uh, we were all laughing because she was there screaming at the King in her uh, animal skins, but also wearing high heels. That is the kind of hypocrisy and she's almost forgotten that she's part Irish and part British as well. So she talks about stolen land. Did she steal it from herself? It's just total nonsense. But no, there won't be any repercussions. Okay, thank you very much indeed. That's Alexandra Marshall there. She's the online editor of Spectator Australia. She's also a young ambassador with the Australians for Constitutional Monarchy Group.